speaker is Lindsey Cross from Pinellas County representing Florida Conservation Voters. Good afternoon. I'm Lindsey Cross with Florida Conservation Voters. We are a member of the No Roads to Ruin Coalition. And I want to start by echoing um, something that I heard that he almost started the meeting with. And it was a statement that when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. From there, we had a lot of discussion about vision and community. So I would like to challenge you as task force members, first of all, not to put your blinders on. As evidenced by the multiple comp plans that we saw already, these roads, these toll roads, are not part of your vision or your plan. They're not part of DOT's vision. Rather, they're the vision of lawmakers in Tallahassee that do not live in your communities. So the recommendation to change the way that you look at things feels like a deliberate attempt to influence you, the task force members, and the members of the public to thinking that this is a good idea and that this is, in fact, your vision when it is not. On our panel about economic development, Mr. Swope discussed the need to talk about decisions based on risk. We know some of the risks. Destructions in our natural areas, our wetlands, and our springs. Increased costs for municipalities and taxpayers who will have to subsidize a lot of this infrastructure. And as you heard the woman from Levy County, some of these things that are left unbuilt that the local municipalities will have to pay for. And then finally, all of those un in unknown impacts to your communities about how it will end up look looking and feeling in the future. Panel members from Clay County talked about the First Coast Expressway and some of the benefits, but they also mentioned that that process for 47 miles of roads took 30 years to develop. And in 13 short months, you as one of three task forces are being asked to develop 330 new miles of roads and either put your stamp on it or come up with some other recommendations. I think it was astute of Mr. Swell to stress the importance of knowing the facts. I appreciate the DOT has brought some initial avoidance areas to you, but there is still so much halfway through the process that we do not know yet. So I'll end with a comment from Ms. Stewart that she made in regards to planning, that you have a blank canvas, and that once it's painted on, it's painted on. But I will argue that this is not a blank canvas, and that you're not doing the painting. You may have some crayons that you're playing with, but I would ask you to be as strategic with those crayons as you can. The only way to make sure that you are not painted into a corner is to recommend no build. Thank you.